Husband and wife, come quickly. Okay, thank you. Okay, just hold this. Why don't you stand over there close to the door? Yes, the whole family over there. We're not isolating. Well, we are isolating you. You can show them your sign now, then. You can show them your sign. This is one of the 2,000 language groups. This is the, the unreached people group over here. Uh, they look like they're pretty reached to me, but we'll just have to imagine that they're unreached. They don't have one verse of scripture at this point. Okay, now we need, I need nine other volunteers, 18 years old and older, can be uh, males or females, brothers or sisters, so please come. I need nine. <coughs> Want some sisters. Okay, and you can, you can stand over here by Brother Merle. And I'm going to give each one of you a card also. And again, don't show it until... I'm going to move this forward a little bit to see how it's going to work the best. You know, maybe. And you know, the call of God is already there. It's in the Bible. Go. Go is the call. And uh, so I just encourage you, this is, this is not a small commitment, oh, a six-week course or a six-week mission trip. This is something that's going to take maybe most of your life this team here. So we need a sending church to be behind them, to support them. All right, we need a uh, prayer support. Even though they don't know the language, they can take that translation and, and go back to the Greek and uh, with a lot of help, and I don't understand it all, but they can actually uh, make the translation a lot more accurate by having professional people that can be a part of this. So this is, uh, we, we made it there. And, you know, if, if somebody gets pulled out of the, the scene here, you know, there's a financial uh, person that, or, you know, a group of people that pull it out, uh, it hinders the work. So it's a team approach, not only just with them, but it's also a team approach with everybody involved. It's, you know, like I say, it's not a small, uh, small time uh, commitment. <laughs> But this is where the work then begins, because you, you have to go there and you have to learn their language. It might not even be a written language yet. You have to, you have to uh, learn their culture, learn their language, and, and then develop a written language from, that, from what they're hearing there. And there's, that's what SIL is all about, Summer Institute of Linguistics. They teach you every sound that the human voice can make every single sound and they have an alphabet for that. It's called the International Alphabet. So instead of ABC, it's all these different uh, letters. And so they have to develop the language for that people group. And then they, um, and they have to yeah, get it into writing. Um, and then there's uh, translating the Bible. And Bible then, then into uh, making Bible stories and teaching and uh, planting the church, discipling. And so that's the vision of All Nation Bible Translation. And as far as, I'm, as far as I understand, I don't know of any Anabaptist group that's gone even before us that has been involved much with Bible translation. And the reason why this was formed, the reason why All Nation Bible Translation was formed, because there are a lot of young people that want to give their lives in this way for Bible translation. But to do that, they would have to go with uh, a Protestant uh, organization. So it was formed so that we could have provide an Anabaptist foundation for Bible translation and church planting. So that's uh, uh, the vision there. Uh, our booth there is at the back. And I think we're, thank you very much for helping all of you. And you can just, Give me your cards. And um, yeah, I just, I'll be in the back there if you have any questions. If you want to sign up with the Bible Translator, maybe we can sign you up today. But um, there is a, a, a big need. And um, maybe God would uh, lay it upon some of your hearts to be able to meet the need, whether it's, you know, any one of these things up here.